champion, former super lightweight world champion, former two-time welterweight world champion, and former super welterweight champion of the world, the undefeated Floyd Money. And fighting out of the blue corner, wearing silver with red, officially weighing in also at 147 pounds, a perfect, pardon me, a professional record consisting of 29 victories, including 22 knockouts with two defeats and two bouts even. His KO to victory ratio was among the highest in boxing history among welterweight champions. From Ventura, California, the reigning, defending, WBC welterweight champion of the world, Vicious Victor Ortiz. Well, Dave, you can certainly feel the electricity in the crowd. There's been a lot of anticipation for this one. It's funny that most people say that Victor Ortiz is the bigger right, of the guys. two guys. All right, gentlemen, we were the when, rules in the dressing room. I expect a good clean fight. Obey my commands at all time. Watch out for the heads inside. Give me good sportsmanlike conduct. Remember, guys, I'm fair but I'm firm. Touch him up. Nope. Well, uh, Floyd Mayweather Jr. in the black and orange, and in uh, the silver trunks that look white on the screen with the colors of the Mexican flag and. The American flag on the left side of his leg is Victor Ortiz. Jab getting through there by Mayweather right away here. A little tentative is Ortiz when he's a good pressure on him. One of the things you watch for with Mayweather is that sneaky right hand in the first round of fights. He can throw it like a right hand lead as if he were a lefty. And he can also make you miss and then turn quickly and make you pay. And I'll tell you, with all the talk about his age, I mean, that shows you right there. The sneaky right hand, he turned it over. He still has the hand speed. Another right hand pops off the face of Ortiz. Ortiz catches him back. Now he tries to muscle Mayweather back, and Mayweather won't move. Ortiz came, as you see, he's a southpaw. His power is in his left hand. There's that right hand lead by Mayweather, perfect against the lefty. And what you watch with him when you measure punching power is a guy that's like a seven on a scale of ten, but he hits you with a ton of sevens in the course of a fight. And that's what he means by breaking guys down. There's one thing that's clear to me at 34 years of age, he hasn't lost a heck of a lot in terms of speed. And it's, and it's significantly different from Ortiz. Ortiz is more of a power guy, yet the power punches in this round have been landed by Floyd Mayweather Jr., who's the challenger here. Well, Ortiz needs a cooperating style in order to get inside and put his opponent down. He had it against Berto. Will he have it here? Different story. And he was down twice against Berto himself, but uh, many people think that that could be the fight of the year it certainly was a great fight but this is a different kettle of fish Berto Wall, a wonderful fighter is not in the same league nor many other fighters with Floyd Mayweather Jr. for all of the said negative about him he is a great fighter and he's got the right yeah. hand lead again after the shoulder roll he shows and that's there all night for him and he knows it and that's his power shot where the left hand lead for the southpaw would do the same thing. No problem so far with the guys stepping on each other's feet. Interesting thing about Mayweather is, regardless of whether it's righty or lefty, he throws the right hand at a time when you think he's going to throw the jab. That's one of the things that makes him so effective. And he's landed at about four or five times. A lot of anticipation for this fight. Ortiz really didn't open up in the first round because he could. He can't box with this guy, Dave. He's going to uh, try to muscle this guy as best he can. He can't box with him. So what he's going to try to do is bob and weave, 
work the way inside, cover up on the way, and then try to do damage to the body once he gets close in his perfect game plan. But Mayweather, with his reach, with his anticipation, look, there's the right hand greeting him on the way in when you thought a jab might be the shot there. He is so instinctive. And there's the, the defense. defensive move by Mayweather. And if we get numbers throughout the course of this fight, it will be quite telling to see what Ortiz gets in. Most Mayweather opponents are less than 20%. Well, so far, he's going to be under that. Yep. And the southpaw style with Floyd's right hand is no problem at all for him. But, you know, Ortiz looks tentative to me right now. And this isn't the way he wants to fight this fight. Uh, well, you know, the big stage is in front of him now. But, you know, Dave, for a professional athlete, the big stage is, is coming in and maybe the first round. Once you're a professional athlete, whether it's the first pitch in baseball or the kickoff of the football or they drop the puck in hockey or in this case, the fight starts, you don't feel that kind of pressure anymore. You're an athlete and you're trying to, in the case of Ortiz, retain the title and maybe they're sort of picking the apart. Different fighters have a, a different kind of aspect to it, and they need something to get them going, which Ortiz is trying to open up a little. He hasn't been hit with before. It's taking some time to adjust, but he did land a nice left hand. And every time he does anything, the crowd explodes here at the MGM Grand Garden Arena. The Mexican Independence Day weekend is huge here in Nevada. And so the Mexicans are out here rooting like mad for Victor Ortiz. Chopping right hand by Mayweather. Another right hand by Mayweather. And another one. Every time he does that, Ortiz has to reload. And he gets slow, and Mayweather chops him again. And you see how quick he grabbed onto him and prevented him? And Mayweather backed off a shot coming to him and then landed a right hand. You know, he protects himself a lot defensively with his left elbow when he throws that right hand, so he's very hard to... Well, we get a look at Mayweather with the good right hand. Look at the leverage on it. All of a sudden, standing straight, he generates power through the hips and lands it right. Well, I'll tell you this as we go to round number three. Ortiz has got to be throwing when he comes into the zone, or he's going to get counted to death tonight with that right hand of... Uh, Floyd Mayweather Jr. Mayweather is doing about what he wants to do in this fight so far. And we're in the early rounds. He said that he would take him to school in the early rounds and then really start to beat him up in the later rounds and then knock him out. But geez, a nice uh, heavy left hand downstairs. And look an immediate counter left cross by uh, left hook, I should say, by the right-handed fighter Mayweather with some decent power on it that shift the balance of Victor Ortiz. Look at Mayweather cut off the ring so nicely here that trying to get out one step to the side. Now, he doesn't chase. He does it exactly right. This guy's a master boxer. Slowly use the angles, make it smaller. He took one there. But he had good things set up. There's, there's more of the defense where he has those elbows and hands up high. And Ortiz lashed out with a good right hand and left hand, and neither one of them was taken very flush by Mayweather. See that elbow comes forward, he catches a lot on that elbow. Elbow out. Oh, that's a good right hand again. Right hand. do seven or eight things well if you're Ortiz and you think you've got some momentum going and Mayweather takes it all away from you in one shot. And the right hand crashing down the point. Again, that's about 10 or 12 during the course of the fight. He had four in the last round. That's his fourth one in this round. Look how quick he is when Ortiz comes after him. I'll tell you one thing, Dave. I hope that we get to see Mayweather and Pacquiao, and we had the opportunity to call that fight because, man, that would be sensational. It would be one of the all-time greats. But this fight is far from over. 
Well, everything is going Mayweather's way. Look at him, he parries off the straight left hand. That time he got tapped in the chin, but was pulling back. And Ortiz just him. missed. Ortiz just missed with a big left hand. And Mayweather slapped it away at the last second. It's one thing to be a great defensive fighter, but then when you add power to it, you get this from Mayweather. 16 for 29 in the power department in round five. Trunks really teeing off of that right hand on the left eye of the champion, Victor Ortiz. Ortiz hasn't been able to force this fight at all. Mayweather dictates. Look at this. I mean, that time, Ortiz tried to explode, and everything was smothered by the hands of Floyd Mayweather. This is what Ortiz is not used to, being a split second late when he has a good idea. Joe warns Ortiz about his head. When we were in the dressing room, Danny Garcia said to Joe Cortez, warn him about the elbow because, you know, he throws his elbows, but he blocks a lot with his elbows. Look at this. I mean, it's a, it's a boxing lesson, isn't it? Uh, guys on two different levels. Ortiz tries to chase down the hurry. Tries to open up, he catches him decently. Mayweather says no, and Ortiz doesn't like it. The crowd going absolutely crazy. Anytime Ortiz ignites, so does the crowd. One of the few bright spots for Ortiz in the fight so far. And again, he almost got there. That's the trouble with Mayweather. A lot of people almost get there. He was hit pretty good in the second round in his last fight by Shane Mosley, but I think you said earlier that's all Shane did. That was that night. But even though Ortiz had that real nice flurry, he not went in this round. That was his only flurry. And his flurry... It's like sizzling steak. He didn't really get much of it in. And the chant goes up, Ortiz, Ortiz, Ortiz. But on the three judges' scorecard, it's Mayweather, Mayweather, and Mayweather. Dropping most of them high in the forehead by the eye. Pick him down the middle. And there's Ortiz batting back. But look where the hands are. And Mayweather. He lunged forward with his head. Time has been going and now a point's going to come away. The point. Well, headbutt. Point, headbutt. And it wasn't intentional. Point, headbutt. That really hurts Ortiz because he was having one of his most aggressive rounds in the fight. Ortiz tries to score the chip. Mayweather makes him pay. What a rookie mistake there. It's, a bad mistake. it's up to seven and eight. He's not going to make it. Nine and ten. It's all over. He's still out as he crawls to the corner right above us. He got suckered in. Floyd Mayweather made it seem like he would embrace him. And then he clocked him twice. A rookie mistake. And Floyd Mayweather has done it. He's the 147 pound world champion. After 16 months, no ring rust. He was counted out, Buzz Ortiz. I'm going to see that again, Dave. Well, it was a beautiful fake. I mean, okay, the referee says point deducted, and Ortiz made an unusual maneuver to try and apologize again to Mayweather. Mayweather made it look like he would accept it, but then he turned and nailed it twice. Protect yourself at all, all times. times. Mayweather with a sneaky shot. 
and he caught him and he really knocked him out because after the referee Joe Cortez, Cortez counted up to 10 he was still out for another oh, 10 yeah. or 12 seconds the thing is, he had already apologized once to Mayweather yeah. this was the second time yeah. he did it right after the incident so Mayweather being ingratiating to him now and Ortiz smiling as he has throughout the confrontation to him. But you know, come at, here we go now. Hey, there's the uppercut. Now here comes Ortiz trying for his best moments of the fight here. Now watch the head. He's doing well. Comes up. And then the deliberate shot. headbutt. A deliberate headbutt. Could have lost two points there. So now. He goes for the apology. Floyd says, fine. They go for the embrace. Referee Joe Cortez is not there. Boom. Left hook. Right hand. Right hand. Yeah. You don't hang out in the kill zone with Floyd Mayweather. Now, this is going to be controversial, and it shouldn't be. you got to protect you know, yourself at all times. That took him out of it. That finished. He's looking over at the referee. Protect yourself at all times. No matter what they say about how he finished the fight, he finished it. And you know, Dave, you said that's the experience.